For the first part of question one, we're looking at the level class. It has a Boolean method, goal reached, and it has an integer method, get points. Both of them are public. For the level class, you would draw this. Level at top, goal reached arrow, Boolean plus, because it returns Boolean and it's public, and then get points arrow int plus, because it returns an int and it's public. For the second part of question one, we're looking at the game class. It has a private member level one that's of type level, a private member level two that's of type level, and a private member level three that's of type level. It has a game constructor. It has a public Boolean method is bonus. It has a void method play, an integer public method get score, and an integer public method play many times. This is the picture you draw for the game class. The three level members, and they're all private. All your methods, which are public, and then what the return type of all the methods are. For question 1b, you're writing the play many times method, which simulates the play of num games and returns the highest game score earned. For example, if the four plays of the game that are simulated as a result of the method called play many times 4 earns scores of 75, 50, 90, and 20, then the method should return 90. Play of the game is simulated by calling the helper method play. Note that if play is called only one time, followed by multiple consecutive calls to get score, each call to get score will return the score earned in the single simulated play of the game. Complete the play many times method. Assume that get score works as intended regardless of what you wrote in part A. You you must call play and get score appropriately in order to receive full credit. For the code for 1b, you're initializing a max score variable to 0, you're playing the game num time, so for int i equals 0, i less than num, i plus plus, you're simulating one play of the game by calling the play method, you're calling the get score from that play of the game method, then storing that in the score variable, and then for each iteration, if that score is greater than max score, score that score into the max score variable, and then once your loop is done, return the max score from all those plays to the game. I normally make videos teaching you how to code in Java, JavaScript, and Python, so if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe.